This is Michael Saltzman from Blue Sky Bio. I'm going to demonstrate the process of creating a crown on a titanium-based digital abutment. I'm using the version 4.7 of the Blue Sky Plan software, the latest version, and we're looking at the initial interface that comes up as soon as the software loads. We're going to start the process by clicking, clicking on the crown and bridge button, and then choosing the option for crown for titanium base. The software brings up the directory on our computer. We have the shortcut buttons on top for desktop documents, downloads, and network. Navigate to the relevant folder containing the STL files. You can multi-select by clicking on the first one with your left mouse button, holding down the shift key, and then clicking on the last STL model, and the software will select the models listed in between. Clicking OK and now the software will load the models. We are now prompted to align the models and orient them correctly in space. Select maxillary model for alignment. Assuming there is a maxillary model, you should go ahead and left click on it and confirm the draw type, maxilla, and then select the relevant type of model, dentate, and continue to alignment. What we're going to do now is place three points to create a horizontal plane. Hold down the shift key and left click to mark the points. And once all three points are marked, the software orients the model correctly in space and aligns it to a grid. We could zoom in and zoom out, holding down our right mouse button and moving the mouse backwards and forwards. And then we could click continue. We now have a widget that we could use to fine tune the model alignment, to move or to rotate the model. We also have two buttons on the top right to show maxilla or show all, which will show us all of the relevant models which we selected. And we could toggle on the grid and the widget. We could toggle them on and off. Once we're happy with the alignment, we click finish. We've now imported our surfaces into the Blue Sky Plan software. Before continuing by pressing continue to scan body alignment, we are going to make sure that our scan body is visible and we could see the flat part of the scan body, assuming that there is one. We could rotate by holding down our left mouse button and just grabbing and dragging. Once we have the scan body visible, we click continue to scan body alignment. This reminder is again reminding us that the scan body is visible since the next step is going to open a screen for us to select the scan body and the tooth so we want to make sure it's visible before doing so. If we don't want to see the message again, simply click Don't Show Again and then click OK. We could select the relevant scan body and then press OK. We now want to click once in the center of the flat area of the scan body, again assuming there is one, and the software is going to do the alignment automatically. The software automatically prompts us to select the relevant tooth. We have several different teeth libraries. Click once to select the relevant tooth. Select small, medium, or large. And at this point, you also want to select the relevant implant and the relevant titanium-based digital abutment. Select the relevant implant, select the relevant abutment, and then click OK and then confirm again by clicking OK. The software now automatically aligns the tooth, the implant, and the abutments to the scan body. Before continuing with our crown design, we could fine tune the placement of the tooth. Our digital scan body is no longer relevant, so we could toggle that off by clicking the hide scan body button in the vertical toolbar. And then we could click on the tooth and do any modifications in terms of rotation and do any modifications in terms of movement and placement or rotation. Using our left mouse button, we could simply grab and drag the tooth and move it, or we could go over to the widget and rotate. It's a good idea to left click once on the tooth to activate it prior to rotation to make sure the widget is active and doesn't slip away. Once we're happy with our tooth positioning, 
we could click continue to crown design. We'll have an opportunity to fine tune the placement and we'll see that the software will modify the size as we go along so that could be revisited later. At this point we're going to select our restoration type crown on a tie base maxilla and the software will automatically populate the relevant surfaces but we want to confirm them make sure the model selection is correct the crown is correct tie base is correct and again if you're creating multiple crowns then it's important to confirm the correct options opposing jaw once we have the relevant item selected we click on start we have a short five-step process the first step is undercuts you could define the path of insertion by grabbing and rotating the arrow or by aligning the model on screen and then clicking set direction from view and then we're going to click next we are now going to mark the adjacent teeth if there are no adjacent teeth or only one adjacent tooth then just mark the relevant tooth or if there are no adjacent teeth and don't mark anything the point of marking the teeth is to help the software resize and position the crown automatically I marked the, the adjacent teeth by holding down the shift key and by grabbing with my left mouse button once I've done that I click next the software draws the margin curve proposal automatically we could fine-tune it by clicking clear margin and just drawing it ourselves. and I'll show that in a second or just hold down the shift key and left drag to redraw the curve okay or if we click clear margin then we can hold down the shift key and just start placing dots with our left mouse button around the curve and at the last point just drag it to reconnect to the start point and once we have the desired curve click next Now the software has created the crown and the connection to the titanium base platform. In this step, we could use the sliders to adjust the crown margin. We could see the margin between the crown and the connection to the titanium base. And we could also adjust the titanium base margin as desired. We are also able to grab and drag with our left mouse button any of the nodes that we see in the bottom section to edit the connection. The, cr the crown cement spacer default is a tenth of a millimeter and the intention of that is the spacing between the titanium base and the crown that will be on it. We have the option of creating a screw channel by checking the create crown screw channel box and we continue by pressing next. At this point, we could use any of our editing tools that we have to add or move material. We do that by holding down the shift key and dragging with our left mouse button. We could remove material by holding down the control key and dragging with our left mouse button. We have smooth function, holding down the shift key and dragging with the left mouse button. Local deform does exactly that. We could grab any point and grab it and stretch it, holding down the shift key and left mouse button. And with all of these tools, we have the tool size slider that we could use to adjust to the area which it affects. If we want to undo any change that we just made, then we click the undo button in the top left. And we could see the intersections, the software colors, the intersections in red so we could go ahead and edit it with our editing tools or we could use the check boxes to either cut the occlusal intersections or the proximal intersections and have the software subtract those out automatically once we're finished with our changes we click the finalize button
we could see our model together with our crown. We could go to the surfaces and here we could toggle on and off different surfaces and we could see our resulting crown. If we want to do any additional editing, smoothing, whatever, then you could go to the restoration. Sorry, you could do the teeth edit panel. And if that's not visible, you could activate it by going to teeth editing. Select the relevant surface from the list. The D indicates that this was the designed surface. And we could go ahead and use any of the editing tools to do any additional editing that we want to do.